everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Michelle. I'm Teresa. I'm Natalie. And we are so excited to have Teresa back with us. It's been a while. I think you guys have noticed that most of our videos have been me and just Natalie so far. But we're still kind of in quarantine, so it is what it is. But we hope you guys are all doing really well. We have a fun video for you guys today. Again, themed. And it is, well, you they're She's, she's in Disney, she's just in tie-dye, but she's proud of this because we made this. Yeah, I also have a land near with Disney pins. So your Mulan's upside down? Oh. <laughs> but, yes, so we made, we, we did a project and did some tie-dye shirts over here for her. Teresa's got a Mickey shirt on, and Donald. Yeah. And, and then, you like this one? And, then, and I am in theme today for Pixar with my Jessie dress from Hawaiian Pizza Apparel. Again, I love my dresses from them. I will link it for you guys in case you want to look because they have a lot of awesome um, Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got three bags for you today. Natalie, do you want to go first? Yeah. So this is a Pixar backpack with like, with like stripes and it has a lot, most of the Pixar characters. So. So there's the ball, um, Sully, um, Woody, Buzz, the little Wally just behind the little plaque, and um, it, and now they're all running through. And then there's Doug. Wait, what's it? Oh yeah, it's not Doug. And then um, that looks really quick. And that looks like what's well, Okay. You can see it on the side with Nemo too and Rex. And, and Bo Peep. And um, I'm pretty sure that what is that? Who's that guy? Oh, Bruce from Finding Nemo. I thought that was Destiny for a sec. <laughs> no. But yeah, so um this one is a Amazon exclusive. The only place you'll be able to order this off of is Amazon.com. They have a whole exclusive line that looks uh, fairly similar to this. Uh, the theme um so here's the mini backpack for it. Um, there is also a crossbody bag where it's, I, I want to say it's the same Pixar characters, but instead of them out like this, it's like a squared version of their faces. Oh no, it's hard to describe, but look them up there. These are all Amazon exclusive. They just came out this month. Um, so there's the backpack, I believe a matching wallet that looks like this, and then a crossbody bag, as well as a um, tote that's clear and the character's faces are printed on it. Uh, super cool. I want. I want to say this is their first exclusive. So, I did want to jump on it. Um, a couple of things that I did notice, though, a few other people I've seen where they've ordered this. This seems to be a common misprint, so do watch out for it. But the stripe pattern on here, um, a lot of people got their front pockets crooked. So, and it's really obvious too when it's crooked because obviously there's stripes. But I saw a lot of people post, and their stripes were very crooked. So I don't know if that's a common defect with these bags right now. They're having some production problems, obviously, with COVID. A lot of places are having production problems, but that was a common thing that I see on here. So be prepared for that. Um, hopefully you can just exchange it for another one that's not um, defective like that. But I think it's very cool. And if you like Pixar, a fun way to have all the characters on there. And in our one of our past videos where we've talked about the plaques on the bag, as you can see, this one is marked with Pixar at the top. Um, and largely on the bottom right there. Let's see, do you want to check? Any special lining? Oh! The lining is very cute too. It's all the Pixar characters on the front, all on the inside with the blue background. And then um, layout of the bag is like most of our other ones. Big main compartment there. I'm gonna guess no zipper. Oh, we have a zipper. This is one of the few where it's laid out like this, where it's the big main pocket and the front pocket that sticks out like this and the two side pockets. Very few of them have the zipper on the inside. This one has a zipper on the inside. It's an anomaly. Oh well, yeah, so that's another thing for you guys to know. Um, the material on this is more or less the same as most of the other ones, kind of like the medium hardness, like faux leather feel, but... Um, I am a little bit worried about the straps getting dirty with them being white. 
because of the material. I haven't had issues with my other bags yet, but again, another thing that people are a little weary about is white straps getting dirty easily. But yeah, that's the first thing. Teresa, you want to do the second one? This one is a Rex backpack, and he's in the front, and his legs hang out. Adorable. Back. I can't take all this uncertainty. It kind of looks like that Rex is about to pop out the backpack because mm -hmm. of his feet. Yeah. Um, so this one is an old Fox Lunch exclusive. I want to say maybe year old? Older? It's old. It doesn't exist anymore. Um, so this is kind of a uh, hard to find bag that people uh, really sought off sought after now. Um, but look at this design, guys, it's so cute. So there's some concerns about his feet dangling like that. A lot of people aren't too happy about that. So like if you set your bag down, you do have to be careful of his little legs um, getting it's folded so up. Mm -hmm. But it is a little bit bigger than um, most of the other mini backpacks. I want to say this is one of the first ones where it was made like this, where it's um, bigger. Oh, so. I saw a comparison for you all there, so it is about an inch or so taller as well as um, wider just because of the shape of it. And then um, it's got that front pocket where it zips over the top versus across the front. Um, I like it like that because it's a lot more accessible for me and two, I think it's just so that they can um, have the front design a little bit better like that. And then again, it's one of the first bags that I think had this ring at the top. Some people like it, some don't. Um, the only concern I've had with it is people talking about how this part might come off. But so far, I haven't had any issues. And as Teresa pointed out, it's got his little catchphrase on the back there. A nice big main uh, front compartment. The main compartment has plenty of space. Inside is the um, Toy Story background there with the clouds. Let me just double check. Oh, no zipper on this one, on the inside. Normally when they're this big, they have a zipper on the inside, but it doesn't. Looks like this one big main compartment, I know. And it does have the two side pockets and it is sizable. I wanna say it's about the same size as the new um, Iron Man and Captain America as a size comparison for you all. But yeah, just a fun older bag for you. And then the tag on this one says Disney Pixar. So Pixar has a couple different tags. Either it says just Pixar or like Disney Pixar and stuff like that. But it makes me think of when Natalie was little, uh, when she would watch Inside Out. She didn't say just Inside Out. She said Disney Pixar's Inside Out. And I think she heard it from the commercials. And so that's just how she called it. She never called it just Inside Out. Disney Pixar Inside Out. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to point out too, this is how you know that this is a much older bag too. The Lush Eye logo has the heart logo on there versus the crown over the Y. Oh yeah, this is a fun one. I found it recently, but it's a sought after bag, so I'm glad I was able to snag it at a reasonable price because if you've looked at Lush Eye bags recently, the prices of the bags that are um, sought after have skyrocketed recently. Meaning my collecting has a slow down quite a bit <laughs> compared to when I used to buy bags for $30. Now you're, when they first come out, a lot of them sell out so fast. So it's hard to figure out what I can wait on because they'll be around for a little bit longer or what I need to like buy now or forever hold my peace. <laughs> well, anyways, that's the second one. And the last one for you guys today is another um, cool sought after, sought after bath just because it's an older design and plus it's also a parks exclusive and it is this toy story one all right the color is a little bit zoomed out right there but yeah so this one was a disney parks one as you can tell by the tag and it was sold about a year or so ago or no actually possibly two maybe back in 2018 and it's laid out as just like most of my main bags, which is a big main compartment, front pocket, two side pockets. And as I've mentioned in past videos, oh no. I was gonna say, I thought it had the so, um, the gray stripe lining, but I think I'm getting, I'm confusing my bags. It's got the clouds on the inside there. Um, it's been a while since we've really mentioned it, but bags with all over prints like this, the 
They're marked as AOP, which by the way, took me forever to realize that that's what AOP meant. It was all over print on <laughs> listing stuff, so now you know. Because I collected for a long time before I figured out what it was. But for all over print bags, it means bags that are made with just like a repeating print pattern versus that, where it's just like one design. No, that's an all over print too. So yeah, that's an all over print is um, placement of the characters. Uh, for this one, I think I got excellent placement on this one. Now you have pretty much all the characters on there in some way or another without like their heads cut off. That's usually the main thing. I don't mind if their bodies are cut off a little, it's their heads getting cut off that I don't like. But this one is laid out fairly well. We've got most of Jesse on the top right there. And we've got Ham, you got Slinky. Down at the bottom, you're getting a couple Woody of the aliens. Mm -hmm. Woody, Rex, and Buzz in the corner even. And uh, Bullseye actually too on the other side. So I think the layout of this one is um one of the better ones for this bag. He's got all this, he's, he's all the way on over here. But yeah. Typical parks exclusive. Um, I don't think it exists anymore. Uh, sold by the parks anymore, so it's another hard to find one. But super cute for any big um, Toy Story fan. Alrighty, I think that's it. Yeah, guys. Anything else? No. What shall we have? Um. Um. Let's see. What do we need to do, Natalie? Like, subscribe, comment down below what your favorite Pixar character is, and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so we know when we upload a new video. I think she said it all. Anything you want to add? Because it's been a while since we've seen you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> she might cut her hair. What do you guys think? How short do you want to cut it? All the way up to her ears. That's short. Should she do it? She wants to, because it is her hair. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since any of us have had like short, short hair. So we'll see. Maybe, maybe in the next. Well, we know we're gonna bank up more videos today, but maybe in one of the next-ish videos, she might have short hair to let us know what you think. Alrighty, guys. I think that's it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm Alisa. Do all the usual stuff, and we will see you all next time. <laughs>